Today's Shanks Group report interim results for the six months ended 30th of September 2013. I'm joined by Group Chief Executive Peter Dillnot to discuss the announcement. Hello. Peter, you're reporting an increase in profits today despite revenues being flat. How was this achieved? We've delivered a strong performance in the first half uh, despite markets that remain very challenging. This has been a result of our structural cost programme, which is reading through and resulting in a business which is leaner and more efficient. We've exited non-core businesses that are loss-making and our growth divisions are on track with improving profits. So put together, that has indeed delivered an improvement in profit before tax of 9% versus the prior year. In Benelux solid waste, are you finally turning a corner? Yes, in indeed I believe we are. Uh, we continue to face very challenging markets and in illustration the Dutch construction market has contracted very significantly again in the first half. But despite that, our cost programmes are delivering improvement and we're very much on track with an ambitious programme to reposition the business. Now our focus is currently on self-help, but we should also be clear that when any recovery does come, and I believe it will at some point, then we're very well placed to benefit from that in terms of operational gearing. After the period end, you disposed of your UK solid waste business. What does this mean for the group? We have a clear and stated strategy, which is to focus on markets where we have competitive advantage and we can generate attractive returns. Now, in the UK solid waste market, that wasn't the case, and our operations were subscale and loss-making. So we've taken decisive action to exit that market, and in doing so, we generate cash, we increase our profits, and we refocus the group on where we can grow going forwards. So where do you see that growth coming from? Well, we have three core growth divisions. I'd like to start in the UK because outside of the solid waste business, we have our UK municipal business, which is a market leader in terms of delivering PFI contracts. That business is performing well. Indeed, in the first half, we were up 19% at the top line as new contracts came on stream. And we have a path towards doubling the profits from that division over the next five years. We then have Hazardous Waste, which is based in the Netherlands, but has European reach, has advantage technology and great commercial positioning. And that again improved from the top line perspective up 5% versus a very strong performance last year. And we have a clear path towards growing that division going forwards. And then finally Organics, um, which is a business where we're leveraging our expertise uh, in the established Dutch market to grow the business internationally. And indeed, Elements of that business grew strongly, including the Netherlands, which was up 9% in the first half. So do you think you can sustain that growth into the longer term? Yes, I do. And we're investing very significantly to do just that. In the hazardous waste division, in the first half, we have approved and got started on over 20 million euros worth of investment to build out capability and capacity in our core business there. UK Municipal, we have assets under construction at a cost of over £200 million funded through non-recourse debt, which again will generate growth going forwards. And then finally our organics business where we have a clear pipeline of exciting opportunities which will result in us over time building new plants internationally. So what does this all mean for the future? Well, we have four divisions, all of which are now market leaders in their respective segments, with a clear path towards profitable growth and improved returns in each of them. We're getting going and delivering against that strategy, and that's evidenced in the first half performance. Those divisional strategies are underpinned by what we're doing at a group level, and that's already delivering in terms of improved productivity and commercial effectiveness. And put all that together, it means that we're on track to improve profits and increase returns over the medium term and that's absolutely our focus. Shanks Group Chief Executive Peter Dillnot, thank you for joining me. Thank you.